Well, one of those provinces at odds with Ottawa on carbon taxes is Saskatchewan. The Premier of the province, Scott Moe, joins me now from Regina. Uh, Premier Moe, first of all, good to see you again. Thanks for making time for us. Well, thank you so much, Peter. We appreciate it. The Prime Minister suggests that you are one of those politicians who wants to do less and less about climate change and ignore what's in front of us. What's your reaction to what he's saying? Well, his, uh, his, uh, what he says is in total contradiction to what they're actually doing, as today they accepted our our plan of prairie resilience, our plan that actually has emissions reduction targets and, and a plan laid out on how we will achieve uh, those reduction targets here in, this, in the province. Um, that has been accepted by the federal government as we move forward. In addition, uh, what they've added to that plan is their plan to tax uh, families, uh, to tax uh, you know, hardworking Saskatchewan families that are taking their children to the hockey arena, taking their children to the dance hall, for rec uh, moving their children around our vast province for recreational purposes or to visit with family, as well as uh, attempting to tax uh, the heating of our homes here in the province. So they've acknowledged that we had put forward a, a reputable plan uh, so that there in no way has Saskatchewan ever been a climate laggard, contrary to what the Federal Minister of Environment or the Prime Minister has said. And they, they acknowledge that today by accepting our, our plan. And we'll continue with our constitutional court challenge to ensure uh, that we uh, will shield Saskatchewan families uh, from these additional costs. Well, he, he may be accepting your plan, and, and, the, and the government does in part, but clearly they're saying it doesn't go far enough. So they've added this an, a, another layer by imposing the federal plan. What they've added is a tax on Saskatchewan families. Uh, in no way uh, does what they are adding uh, reduce emissions in any way, shape, or form. And that's been proven in other jurisdictions. It's been proven around the world. A carbon tax does not reduce emissions. It moves uh, money around. It's a wealth uh, uh, redistribution tool. Uh, that, that has been shown time and time again. That is why it was not part of Saskatchewan's plan. We consulted uh, with those emitters in the province on what was achievable and uh, working very closely through a plan of prairie resilience, which was acknowledged today by the federal government as being an effective way to address climate change in the province of Saskatchewan. And I would put forward it's an effective uh, method uh, of, of consultation with industries across the nation. Okay, when you talk about wealth distribution, I mean, he, he's imposing his plan, the Prime Minister is imposing the federal plan in your province, but what he says he's going to do is give families back on their income tax return, refunds next April, more money than they will spend on the increased energy costs in Saskatchewan. Why is that a bad idea? He's attempting uh, to impose uh, this cost on, on Saskatchewan families, and he's attempting to impose uh, this cost on a number of Saskatchewan businesses as well. Uh, take the business of agriculture, uh, for example. This year, we have a, we're having a fairly moist harvest, and, and most of the grain that is being produced in Saskatchewan will be, need to be dried. Uh, there will be a carbon tax on... Uh, if the Prime Minister gets his uh, his his uh, plan in place here, there will be a tax on that fuel used to dry that grain. There will be a tax on the fuel used to produce fertilizer that will be used by the Saskatchewan agriculture industry. There will be a tax on the fuel that is used to transport that product to the ports and to our our, our uh, points of interest. Right, all so to be clear, you're, you're saying his numbers are wrong. His num I don't accept uh, his numbers that Saskatchewan families will be better off with his plan. And if you are truly uh, just returning the dollars uh, to Saskatchewan families that they that they are paying, you know, I go back to Premier Wall's comments a, long, on, on, uh, a couple of years ago. What's the point? One of, I mean, one of the things, uh, let me ask you this. One of, one of the things the federal government says about this plan is that, look, the idea is to, is to uh, you know, tax, tax energy and, and hopefully change attitudes. And I guess my question is this. If, if, if the government's right, if the federal government's right, and people will actually get more money back than they're spending... Where's the incentive to cut back? Yeah, absolutely. This, this, is, this is a flawed plan. This is, not an, this is not a good economic plan. This is not a good environmental plan, as it will not reduce emissions. And essentially, uh, what this is, is a plan uh, to, to buy votes uh, in the lead-up to a federal election with your own money. Uh, the government does talk as well about spreading, uh, they believe this will spread money around, $445 million over the next five years in rebates from the tax collected on fuel. They say it'll go to hospitals and schools and small and medium-sized businesses, colleges, universities, uh, municipalities, indigenous communities uh, that can't pass uh, directly pass taxes on uh, to consumers to recoup uh, th the money they're paying. So uh, $445 million to, to help, uh, uh, help these other agencies and organizations. Uh, what's wrong with that? Therein lies the challenge. Where's the, where are those dollars coming from? You know, we put forward those dollars are coming from hardworking families across uh, our province in, in this case. And uh, it just simply it doesn't add up that everybody can get more money than's being, than, than is being collected. And if that is the case, then we are going to have pressures on our industry, 
on our industries uh, here in this province, which is has always been our argument uh, from day one, is uh, this, this is an ineffective policy. There are initiatives that are being put forward, in our case in this province, by many of uh, the industries that operate here that have actual uh, emissions reductions, have actual uh, sequestra sequestration opportunities that are being enhanced, most notably in our power industry, which is flagged this morning by Minister Goodale as being one of the, the industries that doesn't have a plan. Most certainly not the case. Uh, the SAS Power has a plan to reduce emissions by 40% by the year 2030. That's 10% in, a, in uh, excess of, of the Canadian plan. So th these, these types of initiatives need to be acknowledged as they have actual emissions reductions. They actually, uh, um, they actually address uh, what we are supposed to be talking about in this is, is a cleaner environment and, and, and less emissions coming out of our, out of our uh, industries and uh, not taxing hardworking families uh, across, across the province. All right, so uh, taxes on uh, these, some of these taxes will apply to, to emitters in your province. You mentioned Sask Power. Uh, you talked about that earlier today, I think. What, what effect will those, uh, those new charges on Sask Power have on ratepayers in your province? Well, if, if, the, if the Prime Minister is successful, and we will be uh, using every tool in our toolbox uh, to ensure that this tax is not imposed on the families in the province, um, but if he is successful in, uh, in, in uh, enacting this tax on SAS Power, for instance, it means about a billion dollars over the next five years. Uh, this is, this is a, a, a tax on an industry that already uh, has targets of, a, of, uh, of not only complying uh, with the targets uh, that have been set by Canada, but going in excess of them with a 40% emissions reduction target by 2030. This is an industry that also is adhering to and be having regulations imposed on them by the Federal Minister of Environment that are in addition to uh, any imposed uh, tax that we are talking about here today. So we most certainly uh, will be exercising every opportunity that we can, including uh, continuing with our constitutional court challenge to ensure that Saskatchewan families will not have to pay a carbon tax on heating their home and they will not have to pay a carbon tax at the pumps when they take their children to whatever recreational opportunities they choose. All right, let's finish on this. You mentioned the court challenge. Uh, that, that is ongoing. Uh, it, it would seem the federal government's not, uh, not interested in waiting to see how that constitutional challenge turns out. They're going to they're look to proceed here. So it sounds like if this, this goes the way it's going, uh, what can you do to stop it? There's going to be a tax in place imposed by the federal government before your, your court battle gets to court, will there? And, and we've asked the federal government, they should actually acknowledge the fact that there are two provinces that have this before the courts. Uh, they acknowledged uh, and respected the court decisions in the case of the TMX pipeline and, uh, and, and have allowed that process to play out in the very same uh, respect for the courts of the land where we have now two provinces that don't feel they have the constitution, constitutional authority to impose this on a residence that in our case we represent in this province. Uh, they should respect the courts and they should allow time for that uh, for that process to uh, to take its course. Are you looking at advice? Is there the possible? I'm not. I'm not a lawyer. So is there a possibility of an injunction here of, of going to court before the tax takes effect? We we are constantly looking at looking at every tool uh, that we have available uh, to ensure that Saskatchewan families uh, quite simply are not going to have to pay this ineffective tax. It doesn't reduce emissions and essentially uh, just increases the costs uh, that they will experience on on their everyday their everyday living. It's it's not an effective tax. It's poor policy and it is, uh, it is problematic for our province and we'll be representing our people accordingly. Okay, so fair, fair to say you're looking at possible options to try and block this tax even before it comes into effect. We're looking at every option available. All right, uh, Premier Moe in Saskatchewan, uh, always appreciate your time. Thanks again tonight. Thank you so much, Peter. It's appreciated.